Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Yes, I was wrong. You can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. I'm gonna pay you what we agreed. Not one anymore. Huh. For that, you can borrow my tools and fix it yourself. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? Mm. Huh. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Okay, let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. Right. So doable? Sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. I'm looking for someone. Jackie Wells? If you maybe. Hmm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I, I thought she'd at least called in to you. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry, I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. If you have a problem, I'm willing to hear it. Let me tell you what my problem is. 
Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? That nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that the way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog, you know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? There's no clan. There's no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I heard this place was famous for its hospitality. Ah, oh, glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You're damn right we are. When people come along who know how to behave, I saw a broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Best that way. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy. It's good to hear your voice. Fee. Wish I could say the same. Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. Never knew you to be so cautious. Try loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them, and joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I, I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling, it's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again.
was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. And V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? You're a man of principle. You need a backbone, chica. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <sighs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle. These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh, some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate. Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey. You, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why? Are you nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> ah, por favor. Well, uh, maybe a little. Hey, border crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. 
You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have got to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. Means the cargo was flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running in case of a cock up. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now, please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. What happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You're gonna tell me what happened back there. Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie. Just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Phew.
mucho. ¡Síguenos, su madre! Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us, and he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. It's just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Oh shit. Says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Mamis, a real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antil what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. I think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And NC ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it partner. Hey. Aw, cuddly little fucker. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. Oh, <laughs> you don't mean that, Chica. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Another 
day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gongs will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a Major League player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. Legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. <laughs> matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City, the city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice? You want nice, supportive? Call the damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her bio mom. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. 
This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky go. Let's keep looking.
see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does Jacking not in. look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. It's got much as hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Landing. Stand. 
and clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Uh, relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put it in fifth. Stop digging Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. <laughs> I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. You're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Van on our ass, tailing us. Chingado. I don't like this. I don't want that bit. Scars! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, bitch! Hands! Keep her steady! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, asshole! B! Aim for the driver! Chingado! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. I can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Stops.
Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Cause only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to ya. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. your average badges. That's Max Tech. NCPD's Apex Predators. M Tech rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. They'll let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Kaboom! Sawyer Silver! Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the president Bud? of the church. Of Forgot America. earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to thee. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, V. You get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean... Maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck... She's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, chica. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. 
Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Dock. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date, me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Checking them out? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's narrow socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. 
Got a job from Dex to Sean. Get in the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Gonna keep me waiting all day? Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus? From the last job. Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thank you. 
You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. How's it going? Shh. Gonna be long? You've been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, chica. You know I was raised right. How's your mom? Shh. Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there. Waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, Chica. She can see that. Whoa, gotta take a piss? V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <sighs> Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. 
Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned. But I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. <laughs> Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of higher-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. His brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes good. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. 
the one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> yeah, he don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker was first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Just look around. It's done a wiggle. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nah, not on the horn. Let's meet, cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Thank you. 
Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Got an offer for you. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly, forthrightly, are you here alone? Yep, <clears throat> just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Never met anybody named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. But I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Her, you can let go. Want to hear what she has to say? You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. But they're expecting payment, so... I could go that route too. Fine. The latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! The cut's already good as dead! I can't take you down with her!
There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Is that an arch? Oh, damn, what a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Huh. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Uh. 
I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I think the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Wanna to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. Model MT-0 D-12, called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift an access locks using our soft. What's yours, is yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Ha! 
Now that's good business sense. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that. Without that in the fucking eye. <laughs> I hand over the chip. You hand over the bot. Clean and easy. No complications. Look at this fucking girl scout. You know all your nods. Got all your badges. <laughs> You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Maybe he ain't dead? So I'm gonna consider my offer now. Preds on this. trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Chip's got a vector! They're breaking in! Zero! I want hats! Where's it going on? <laughs> Got the set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. Oh. Good. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really no other way.
¡Chistada madre! Move an inch away from this laser. I'm ground beef. It's linked to a mine. So you're a brick, yeah? I'm brick. Royce did this. A twist fuck. Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. I'll get you, but kinda caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered.
You didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Oh, thought about what you said. About convoys, transport security, your offer? We're just not interested. Secure the area! Time we were on our way, Mamita. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh, hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know, we're good together. I like how we do things. 
I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. Things looking, Miss V. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of maelstromers. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meeting with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh -huh. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.
to include Militech's Centaur class exosuits. The force has ordered 20 of the Centaur units to be used in preventative patrols and next type forces. A ceremonial signing of the partnership took place at C. Thank <laughs> you. 